just um, real quick, oh, just a second. Okay. So we're huge fans of listings to leads. I want to let everybody on the call know that because we have agents on our team that are watching this, but I also invited home smart agents who aren't on the team in case they had interest in learning more about the product. Uh, we do provide this to every member of our team and, you know, various levels of integration. Some agents, you know, generate 10 leads a day mm -hmm. with it. And then other agents have an account, but have never logged mm -hmm. in. So I was thinking going with Vince from listings to leads would be great for everybody's benefit because I only use what I use right. and this is Vince's product. So mm -hmm. he's, I'm excited. I think everybody on here is going to learn something new today, myself included, even though I've clicked every button in the back office. So Vince, it's you, it's up, it's all yours. Cool. Okay. Thanks, David. Yeah. Um, so we're we're listings to leads. Um, we've been here for I think almost 13 years now. Um, David has known about us for a while, and you've been using us, you've had access for a few years, right? Yeah. So we are a full kind of real estate um, advertising platform. We have tools for agents who have listings and we have agents for, uh, we have tools for agents who don't have listings. And whether you want to get more contact information for buyers or for sellers, we've got tools to help you out there, right? If you, and, and then we're a full on advertising platform. So when you look at our tools and you see like virtual tours and flyers and and things you might say to yourself, well, I already have all that. I've been using, I have that, right? And most realtors do. But what you don't have are these same tools that actually capture leads. So when we create an e-flyer, it's got multiple call to actions. When we create a letter for your nearby uh, neighbors, there are call to actions built in that. It's one of our top tools to get listings. We have complete automation for social media. We have ways to run ads on Facebook and Google and Instagram in like two clicks um, and you're getting leads with name, email, and phone number. So our, our goal is to try to make things as easy as possible for you to capture leads, either buyers or seller leads. Okay. Now, like David's saying, he he's only using a few tools, right? He's using what he uses because he likes. And that's, that's understandable because we actually keep adding tools to our system like every every month. There's something new, right? Um, or we're making improvements. So what I want to point out to you first is this page right here. And I'm going to copy it. It's on YouTube. Um, and I'm going to send it to all of you right now. This is, I do live trainings twice a week. And my partner, Scott, does one at least once a week. And what you will see here is every time we do a, a, a class, we put it up right here on this page. So you have this now, I would definitely recommend that you save it. And there's a couple that I wanna talk about because what we're gonna do is talk about the three classes that I give routinely. One is on Facebook advertising, which is migrating into Facebook and Google because now Google's part of our platform. Um, top tools to get more listings over here. So this is for agents who want more listings, right? That's <clears throat> talking about all the ways to do that. And then down here, well, that's Facebook. There's Get Started. So Get Started is actually, you know, if you're new to us and you want to set up your account and you want to know everything that you can do here, Get Started is there. You'll notice that there's some sort of little bylines underneath these pictures, which is the focus of that class. So if you want to hear about what's the difference between Google and Facebook, why should I think of it? What's, you know, why is one a important, more important or not. If you want to talk about geo farming and showing value, I talk to a lot of agents. Um, and one of the things that's occurred or what's changed in the market is mortgage rates are up and buyers are sitting on the sidelines. And I'm not sure about if that's affecting you, but it's definitely affecting a lot of my clients across the country. So if that's the case, people are calling saying we need to, you know, if I was selling a home this time last year, it'd be sold in two days. Now it's sitting for two months. I got to show my my sellers what I'm doing. I, and so I need your platform to, to, you know, get the traffic report and get all the tools so that it looks like I'm providing value. So if that's, if you fall in that camp, well, we're definitely got you covered. What we're looking at here is the mastermind group. And 
this is a private group on Facebook. It is only for our clients. David, I think you're in here. You are welcome to invite your agents in okay. or you as agents can go over, um, what do you, uh, into the support page in your account and just ask them to add you here. If you are kind of, you know, it, it's where our clients are talking about things. Like here's some guy here telling us what's gone on with his ads. Um, and and then there's Scott and I talking about whatever it is that's new or whatever, you know, we want to talk about. So there's a lot of information here if you're trying to understand what's going down. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so let's get into the system. When you each log in, you, there's really a couple of areas where you're going to want to live. One is on listings. Now, my view is slightly different because I'm logged in in the office account um, and you will log in as an agent and you will only see your listings, right? You'll also have the ability to add a listing even if you don't have listings. So, David, I don't know if you share listings from the office or what the rules are with the MLS, but sometimes agents are, especially now, it's, it's kind of changing where it's like, can I borrow your listing to market, to market? And right now, agents are saying, yes, if you can help me get a buyer, definitely go do it, right? So if that's the case, you can go right up here to add a listing and click the button that says grab listing and just drop in the zip code and the MLS ID, and then it's going to live right here in, on your page like this. So before I drive into the details of how you market a listing and what we do, I want to just let you know that there's a listings page that we're looking at now. There is a ads page, which is really the, the, the software from Facebook and Google, which makes running ads so easy, uh, and, and, and Instagram. And there's landing pages, which you kind of set up, and then you don't really have to mess with it, but we'll, we'll go look at that. And then we got some new stuff here, social, the social content, which we'll look at uh, a little bit later. Not a lot on lead gen, but it puts a lot of information, colorful content pre-written on all your social media platforms, so you don't have to. So let's look here on the listing side and let's click into market listing. Now, <clears throat> here we added something uh, which is a checklist, <laughs> right? It's kind of funny to me. Scott's doing a, a eight part series on how to make a quarter million in, in real estate. Um, it, and so this page, this checklist is kind of part of that. So it's right at the top. You can download it. It might help you, but really it's a, it's almost like a parallel picture of this list of things. So let's go through these things and talk about what's most important, talk about what's automated and talk about how you can use it. Uh, let's see here. I see a question here. How does one create a traffic report for a listing ad to give to my sellers? Good question, Brent. And that, that question is a good question because you definitely want to show that. So let's jump over. We're right here on market listing. We're going to click on edit. And the sad answer is that this thing is buried. Um, we, and, and so you're really going to have to remember this. If you're trying to get a traffic report, you get on edit, you click on seller's information, and then right down here is the traffic report and you can download it, right? Now, this is kind of a new thing for this listing. So there's not a lot of traffic, but this is what you have here, right? Uh, and you can download it. Again, you wanna click on your listing, click on edit, get to seller's information. We're really, it's ridiculous that that's put there, but we're really wanting you to put the homeowner's information here, their email and like hi Joe or whatever their name is and save it so that we can send that report to them every week so that you don't have to go do that. I would recommend that if this is something that's on your mind, okay? Um, so back to the tools here. The first thing under that, that overview is Facebook and Instagram. And let's see what we have here. Yeah, so Rachel has her Facebook account connected and you can see how easy it is to run this ad. It's all, when we're on the listing, all you have to do is click create ad, okay? Mm -hmm. And this is going to create what we call a lead format. And a lead format, let me just show you kind of what, what, what goes on. So this is Facebook. And, you know, people scroll through and see all the pictures of their families and their friends and whatever. But I, right here in this feed, 
is always something like an ad, okay? Like an ad. You might see a, you know, a progressive auto insurance ad. You might see car tire ad. You might see a concert ad or a restaurant, or you might see an ad on the home that you're selling, right? In this case, if you lived within 15 miles of Avondale, Arizona, you would see that pop up as you're scrolling through, whether you're on mobile or whether you're on uh, your desktop like this. So when you see that ad and you click it, this little form pops up on the right. And it says, would you like more information? And there's only one answer. The answer is yes. And their name, <laughs> phone number, and email address from their profile are already populated in that form. So this is a great way of capturing leads, right? And in this case, because this home is for sale, we're going to be capturing buyer leads. If we, if we market a home that's sold, it's going to be offering a home value, a free home value. So you're going to get seller leads. Now I'm going to show you some other ways to get seller leads, but this is simply as simply as, as it goes, right? All you have to do to make this thing work is click create an ad. Now I will tell you this. Um, I don't know how it is in your market, but a lot of people are telling me if we did this ad in the, in the spring of this year you know, or in January of this year, if you'd run this ad, it's a $35 ad for seven days with the average cost being between a buck 50 and $2 a buyer lead, you'd get about 20 leads in probably three days. Even though this thing is meant to go seven days, just the, the activity was so fast that you would get a bunch of leads super fast. Now, everybody's sitting on the fence and an ad like this might get five or 10 leads. It won't really max out. So if you look here, it says click below for instant information, need a place, more space. This is pulling, this, this language here is something that we write. Frankly, I think it's a bit generic. It works in great times, but maybe not right now. But right here where it says need more space, that's pulling from your, the property description. Those are the first lines. For so it's dynamically pulling that. And for me, that might not be good enough. So as you can see, I clicked in the box here, there might be some language like, you know what, um, great schools, um, you know, what are some details that are going to work, right, I, I, that are going to get people to pay attention and click, because that need more place for more space that might be not compelling enough, but you want people to click, so you want to think that you can customize it right there, and that's about all you need to do, and then click create ad, bang, and that's going to create the ad. If you've got your Instagram account connected, your Facebook account, it's going to go out there as well, okay? And we put $35 ads for seven days. You can always change either of these. If you've got some super marquee property and you want everybody to know it, I would actually consider expanding the radius so more people know you handle property like that and upping the budget, right? Um, the next is we have Google. Now, Google is not something, David, I don't even know if you have it in your account. But um, we do have it in the account and we have an agent that's been testing it. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I'll just give you my quick story of Google versus Facebook. Okay. Facebook is a website where people scroll through in the United States, adults 40 minutes every day. They're on their phone. They're at work they're in their car, they're looking at the nonsense that their friends are eating and the kids and whatever, right? The vacation pics, that's Facebook. It's great. And that's why when you drop an ad here, people are gonna see it, right? They're Because they're, they're here all the time. But if somebody has a question in life, you know, like, how do I sell my home? They don't go to Facebook to ask that question, they go to Google. And if you're on page 10 of Google, it might not even be worth being on the internet. But if you have an ad and you're on page one, well, that's how you're getting those answers. And so when, we, when you're using Google, you can actually run a, a landing page ad or, and, and on how to give people an instant value. I'm going to show you our PDF guides. We have 40 PDF guides for homeowners. We are working on integrating that right now. So when somebody has a question, we go, hey, here's something about divorce and real estate. Here's something about how to stage your home. Here's something about, there's 40 different topics. You, the agent, are branded on every PDF guide. There are 40 for homeowners and there are 40 for home buyers. So you can run those ads 
on Facebook right now, but we're going to have it available for Google and that's going to be good. So the next thing down here is social media post. This is a free part of the system. This is not um, a paid app. So if you do have social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn, you go connect it and we're going to post it looking just like this out on your network. So the people who are going to see these are the people who follow your pages, right? If you pick, if you run an ad, well, now that's like, you know, 2000 people within 15 miles of Chandler. And that's, that's a different audience, but this is for, it's a free post. It goes to your social media accounts and there's a landing page behind it. So you're going to capture leads with this for free. I definitely recommend you turn that on. You turn that on in your profile under auto posting. I see a question here. Counties are counties better. And is there a limit to how many counties we add? Brent, uh, counties, I not exactly. I'm, I'm going to assume that you're talking about home valuation landing pages. No, I was back on the uh, listing ads uh, when you were doing the uh, Rachel Avondale listing. Uh -huh. In a 15 mile radius of Avondale, you suggested a, a widening that radius. I noticed that you can add counties to oh. the search instead of cities. So my question is, is that better to do? And is there a limit on how many counties you can add based on budget? Because we were adding counties and the system was removing them as we would put them in. <laughs> it would just remove them right out again. Was so, it in our system? Was our yeah, system? Yeah, yeah, you guys, yeah. So huh. I, I assumed that it was uh, because we only set a $35 <laughs> budget, too many people in the counties, that that's why it was limiting the number of counties. I don't know what the rules are in counties. How does that yeah. work? I don't know the rules either. Okay, but, there you go. <laughs> but I'll tell you this. Counties are not um, not even something I knew was there. So it may not really be functioning correctly, whereas we are looking at cities and you can type in. I don't you used to be able to use zip codes. I don't think Facebook allows that anymore. No. I think, I think what you're if you're looking at a county, you're thinking of a wide area. You can just expand your radius to 60 miles and you can write in multiple cities. Right. And one thing I forgot that I wanted to mention, there's a dynamic in the U.S. of people moving around states, right? Low cost taxes, whatever. So like what Brent was saying, he's working on counties. Um, I don't really know about counties. <laughs> like I said. We, can do, we can do two counties here and cover pretty much everyone that we would consider local. Yeah, you could also do yeah, you could also do two cities and expand this out here and probably get the same thing. Or well, I was that's fine. I don't mind doing that. I was just told early on that we should keep it to the 15 mile radius for whatever reason it seemed to work better using the smaller radiuses. Mm -hmm. But I'm willing to do whatever works. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've not heard much. You know, to me, it depends on what you're trying to do, where the radius is a factor. If you're trying to get homeowners. Sometimes a radius is more of an issue of working against you. But in this case, you know, you can market in Arizona and you can market in Newport and you can market in Chicago if you want. Yeah, I'm pretty pragmatic about this whole thing. I don't really particularly care as long as I do it to, to get the best results is what I'm after. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm at your mercy here. You yeah. tell me what the best way to do it is and I'll do it. I'm not on a call, are you? Yeah, I think I just did. Okay, okay. let's keep moving, guys. So, walk over here. Turn on your free social media posts. This is free. It captures leads. You set it up on your profile. Now, if you, now, if you want something like more like referrals, there is a tool here. It's called the seller social media posts. And I actually highly recommend this because when you're running ads, if you're running ads on Google, or you're running ads on Facebook or whatever, you, you're capturing leads of people who don't know who you are, right? And so that's cool. If you're super awesome at converting, that that's going to be awesome for you. But we actually email this tool to you automatically. It sits in your mail. You probably look at it and don't know what in the world we're talking about. And this is what it is telling you to do. It's, a, it's saying, forward this message to your homeowner. Just the information that they need, which is the information that I just copied, and email it to your client. And then call your client and 
tell them to put it on their Facebook wall. Say, hey, we're trying to sell your home. We want as many people to know about it as possible. So would you please just copy and paste that and put that on your wall, right? This is what it looks like, right? And it says now, imagine Rachel, you know, I'm the homeowner. She's like, hey, would you put this on your wall? Hey, our home just listed Rachel Van Hook at HomeSmart created as many other tools. Check it out, right? Now, if you get, if somebody clicks on this because you're curious, well, they got all the information that they want. This whole page has been created by us automatically. We even are offering free home values. Maybe they're thinking of selling, right? Even though this home is for sale. And at some point, this page is gonna pop up and capture them as a lead. You're gonna automatically get their name and email from this. And just as a reminder, you're not getting it from like the broad world of Arizona people on Facebook. You're getting it from the friends and family of your current clients, right? So this is a really good lead. And when, let's see, I'm gonna click the uh, back button here. One thing I didn't mention, there's a couple of things I didn't mention is if you are not marketing your homes as sold, like you can change the status to sold. Um, we don't update that. So that's why they all stay active. We just got do it. more of the active marketing and don't do much of the other stuff. But you can see there is one there that's just sold. This I one do. I, I update them. It sends it out to Facebook, right? It's a good thing to do. It's a, it helps. Def definitely. It's definitely, it's one of the, I mean, if you like to have more listings, it's one of the smartest things you, you should be doing is flicking that button, having the auto posting go on. And then when, you know, we're, we're going to post it to Facebook and Instagram. If you want um, uh, seller leads, you should be running an ad like this. Um, now, this is where it gets tricky, and we probably won't go into the depths of trying to get seller leads on Facebook, especially with this. But there are some pros and cons. And I really cover that heavily on this channel. When you when you watch Facebook ads, you will understand the details of, of how to be effective there. So, but I want to show you this. So imagine again that Brett sold my home. Do you use this letter, Brett, that we emailed to you? I'm sorry, I don't even know what page you're on right now. I lost track of where you are on listings to leads. So. I am on market. I'm on market listing for a sold property that you sold, and I'm looking at the tool that is for the seller social media. And if you're looking at my screen, you're going to see me using it. So imagine yeah. that when he, when Brent flicked that property and said it's sold, we emailed this tool to him. And my guess is he didn't bother to look at it. And but he could have forwarded it to the client, called the client, and in five seconds said, "Hey, I know you get a bunch of, you know, messages every day. Would you copy what I just sent you and put it on your wall?" Now this one is sold, right? The <laughs> one we were looking at earlier is for sale. We if you update a, an open house, if you have whatever uh, pending, you can use them at all the stages. But if, when it's sold, it says, "Hey, our home is sold. We want to recommend Brent Hammonds at Home Smart Real Estate for doing an excellent job." This is going in front of all their friends and family and colleagues. Here's his phone number and email address if you need help. And this is not a paid ad. It doesn't disappear in seven days. So what happens when, you know, your client's cousin or uncle wakes up and goes on Facebook and goes, oh, they sold their home. And then they go click on this. Well, as you can imagine, we're going to take them to a tool that's got all, all the information on this property. But the difference from this one and I the other one that I showed you is that when the call to action comes up, it's offering a free home value. So you're getting free home value leads from the friends and family of your current clients. Again, you don't get a lot of leads on this one, but our clients are kind of blown away that they're getting seller leads out of nowhere. They don't even know what, what's happening. Like, how did that happen? It's because they've been using this tool. Another really important tool here is the nearby homeowner letter. And this is the number one tool for our clients for getting seller leads that turn into contracts. I can tell you a lot of tools. I, I actually mentioned uh, in our YouTube channel, I talk about all the tools that top tools for more listings, right? We've got a lot of tools that capture seller leads, but this one 
is the one where the leads convert the fastest. So if you like having listings, I recommend you kind of get familiar with it. It's called the Nearby Homeowner Letter. You can download it here. And, you know, if, if you got a lot of time and not a lot of budget, you can door knock it. And I've had clients who say, God, you know, I print up 100 of these. I door knock them in the neighborhood. I get in my car. I've got seller leads. What it says is, we just sold a home in your neighborhood. Go check it out. By the way, that's going to affect your home value. Go check this out to go get your free home value. And when this gets captured, this lead is going to Brent, right? Now, as I mentioned, the simple way, excuse me, is door knocking, but that not everybody has time. The way that this is really utilized is our clients mail it, right? Now, some people want to bulk mail it, and that's okay, but it doesn't work out. Um, when it looks like bulk mail, it looks like junk mail. And if it doesn't get opened, it doesn't help you too much. But I do want to show you probably what I think is the best recipe. And, and right now, I've got three names on my mastermind group that I, I refer to a lot. And I would look at all of these. One is Chris Winstead. One is Dustin Fox. And another is Alicia Pless. If you want more listings, you want to know how these guys are using this tool. But I'm going to show you what Chris is saying. So Chris moved to Texas a couple of years ago from out of state with his wife and kids. And he comes in here like we didn't even know who he was. And he's like, hey, I got five listings in three months in my own neighborhood using that letter, right? The letter I'm showing you. And we were all like, whoa, but that's kind of crazy. And so we asked him, like, how did you do that? And he says here, and, and this is the straight up recipe. He says, I send out that letter every other week to neighbors who've owned their homes for five years or more. Now, he bought that list from a company called Remind, but there are a few resources where you get something like that. Once they opt in on the neighborhood valuation page, I consistently hit them up every week with phone calls, bomb bomb letters, letters via mail, and letters left at the door. You know, it's not, we don't sell leads here but we do sell you a lot of ways to get leads. And I'm not trying to sugarcoat it there. There's work involved in that, okay? Like this guy is stuffing his home. For real estate. So, but what's different for, for that guy is that when he was doing it, we didn't have this fancy green button here that said Connect Express Copy, which we added to our system about three months ago. And on this company, you can download this letter and send it to them and say, hey, send this to 100 or 200 people in this area. And I want them to have five or 10 years of equity, right? So you're getting, you don't have to buy the list. You don't have to handwrite the stuff. They're going to stuff it. They're going to, they're going to send it to the appropriate target audience. I think this is, a, we're very excited to see this because this is our top tool for getting our clients listings. I definitely recommend that you look at that. Now, if you're an agent, I know you're all using KV Core. There's an e-flyer for your database. If you have hundreds or thousands of leads, you should be using this once a week, right? You copy it up here, you go to KV Core, you blast it out on all your leads. It says, in this case, we got a home that's sold. That affects your home value. So you're going to get seller leads. And if he's got reviews, yeah, his reviews are going to be there. Um, we do create single property websites, virtual tours, um, if you're doing open houses, we have a whole open house marketing kit. Um, if you're if you're doing any kind of print for your farm markets, you got to look at our stuff because, you know, real estate's been around a long time, obviously, right? Um, and the internet's only been around since the mid 90s, but print has been in real estate for many years. So a lot of old older realtors know, like, I got to print, right? But if you ask a realtor about their ROI on their print, the eyes just roll right back in their head and they have no idea. Like, I just do this because, you know, we got to do this. On our world, there are call to actions on both sides of everything, right? On the back, it says that affected your home. On the front, it says, hey, we got a home for sale. Go check it out. And there's web links that we created automatically for you that are going to capture leads for you. So if you have print in your mind, you need to go look at what listings to leads is providing for you.
And we got sign writers. Yeah. So that's the listing marketing site, right? There's a lot there. Um, on the and are there any questions about what we looked at so far? Because I'm going to jump over to this section. Okay. So here, um, David doesn't have the office account connected. So I am going to let me look at this real quick. Uh, I'm going to jump into one of our accounts to show you what that the, the Facebook stuff looks like. So while he's doing that, I just want to share with everybody on here. Um, when I saw what he's about to show, I was absolutely amazed when I started using it. Literally right this second. And I'm going to coin a phrase from somebody on this call. Um, we have an agent on our team. And he said something one day, he said, every day he wakes up, he says, what am I going to market today? So that is his number one thing every morning he wakes up. Well, what he's about to show with these Facebook ads is literally right this second. If I said, what am I going to market today? Within three minutes, I could have a Facebook ad running on any listing that I chose. So, you know, we have a lot of listings on the team and a lot of listings on our brokerage. So you have a big selection and you could have an ad running in three to five minutes maximum. It's that easy once you learn the process. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's a lot quicker than that. So let's do this. It's fast. I mean, yeah. I wanted to give them the first time through it's three to yeah, five yeah, minutes, yeah. but in reality, it's about a minute. Yeah. So when you come here the first time, it's going to ask you to connect to your Facebook stuff. Um, it's going to give you some yellow messages. Follow those steps. Accept everything. In this one, it's saying um, it's saying we can't create a custom audience. If you see that message, send it over to the, the support team. They have instructions on how to fix that. It's just your Facebook account is not kind of configured correctly. But you'll want to use custom audiences. But let's just see how easy it is to create an ad. So you'll go here once you got everything connected. Create, you have three options, create a listing ad, a landing page ad, and a PDF guide ad. And so if we're talking about listings, um, you can just say, yeah, I want to do this one here, right? And uh, assuming the listing's in your account, leave it on lead ads because that's where we're getting pre-populated name, email, and phone number from Facebook profiles and click create ad, okay? So what it's doing is pre-writing the ad, Right. And it's saying whatever city it's in, this is Sarasota, Florida, it's like, bang, okay, you've got a 15 mile radius. And we already talked about that you can go over here and customize this if you want that to be sharper language and you can increase the budget. But honestly, you could just click publish. Now, if that to me is maybe a 30 second exercise, not a five minute one, but it might take you time to find that green button. So I understand that. So actually, Vince, I, I was actually referring to somebody that doesn't even have a listing. Remember, oh, uh, yes, yes. Like you can, like on our team, you automatically have permission to market any other team agent's listing. And at HomeSmart, it's the broker policy that we have permission to market other HomeSmart <laughs> agents' listings. So that's actually going and grabbing the listing that's not your listing, letting it populate the listing in there, and then creating the ad. So the whole process, even if you don't have a listing. Yeah, you're right. Okay. So let me let me describe that story to you. I'm on the listings page. Click on add listing, the green button up here. Click grab listing. You need the zip code and the MLS ID. Turn this box off since it's not yours. It stops us from making a YouTube video and getting everybody all janked up. And then grab. And then you can kind of have a little coffee because it's going to take us about 60 seconds or two minutes. David's right about that. And then boom, that thing is going to sit right here. Okay. And at that point, you can go, oh, I want to market it. Well, this one's under deposit. But at this point, you can go right here and create the ad. And yeah, that's that's not a lot of time. And you're right. That is probably closer to five minutes. All right. Um, and it's that easy, right? You're capturing the leads. They're going to. I do want to kind of say something if, if it's not obvious. You know, there are a lot of companies out there like Zillow and other companies that when they're when they're, when you're buying leads from them, they're selling them to three other people at the very same time, right? 
This system is not like that. If you use the tools and you capture a lead, those leads are going to you and you only. OK, that's how our platform works. So, yeah, you can market listings and drive leads back to you. Right. So, yeah, that's how you market a listing. But we also have some other cool things that I want to make sure you're aware of. And that's our PDF guide. So we've written 80 PDF guides in-house about various topics that are important to the market. Right. So if I go to create a Facebook ad and I say create a PDF guide ad. You'll notice that we've got 40 PDF guides for home buyers, and we've got another 40 for home sellers. So it's really your choice. What do you want to talk about? Right now, you know, maybe five dangers of overpricing is a relevant story, right? So you can click create an ad, use lead ad so we get those pre-populated name, email, and phone numbers. Go here, and all you need to do is type in the name of the city, right? And you don't even need to worry about this because this gets people clicking already. And then you click publish, right? Very easy. Once they click yes, they have to give you their name, email, and phone number, and then they can download it immediately. So you don't have to do anything. Just, you know, capture leads. I do want to point out, I have not talked about the cost of a lead. And if you're not familiar with Facebook, this is called kind of pay-per-click advertising. So if I got a $50 lead, or $50 ad and, uh, and, and a lead costs $10, I'm going to get five leads out of it. So every time I get a lead, it chews off 10 bucks, right? Now, Facebook sets that price. It's different all over the country. So if you're running this exact same ad in Manhattan, you're going to pay more for a lead. It's just what Facebook does. I will tell you one thing, you know, normally about a week or so ago was Thanksgiving and everybody got to eat a lot of things, you know, turkey and, and stuffing and all that. And normally most realtors take a nap until spring at that point. And where that affects you is that the, the, the lead cost on Facebook drops because all the competition is gone. So I have seen lead costs drop by 90% in some years, which means if the lead costs you $10 today, uh, you know, next week it's going to cost you $1. So your $50 goes much further. So this is a good time to be marketing, especially on Facebook, because your competition is, is taking a nap. All right. Can you talk of a difference between traffic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So when we do a um, an ad, and let's, let's go do another PDF guide. Ad. Let's talk about short sales. It gives you this question of, do you want a lead ad or do you want a traffic ad? And a traffic ad means that when somebody sees the ad, when they click on it, it drives them to another place, like a landing page or maybe a single property website or something like that. I, I, I This has been a new concept. Well, it's how we actually started our, our, our company with Facebook. We always did traffic ads because we were driving people to home landing pages. So let me kind of give you an idea, right? So if you wanted to say, hey, what is your Chandler home worth, right? What is your Chandler home worth? That's what your ad said. Click here to find out. Well, you would want to do a traffic ad because you're going to drive them to that page. There is a downside to that, though, and, and, and here's what it is. This page is very good at capturing addresses, right? Because if anybody types in their home address on this thing, it's going to give them an instant home value, right? And they click this button. And then the next page, well, we'll just wait for this to bake. The next page is going to say, yeah, you're, we got your uh, uh, value. Give us your email address. And a large percentage of people would rather leave than give you that email address. They just don't want to do it, right? So if you do the ad with lead ads, it pre-populates their name and email and phone number from their profile. And for some reason, people trust that. They're like more comfortable doing that than typing in themselves. So the short answer is I'm not a big fan of traffic ads. Unless you got something super custom that you created some super awesome landing page, which you can do custom ones on our platform, I would not do a traffic ad. But that's the difference. We're driving it to a tool or we're showing the ad and then the, this form pops up. So would you like more info? Yes. Great. I got Now I got your name, phone number, and email. So I would always be doing traffic ads. That's the difference there.
Okay. So, so the lead ad allows gives them that register through Facebook button option that they like to do without having to physically type in their email address. Kind of. Um, or just automatically scrapes it right from Facebook. Correct. Yeah, yeah. So if that if that ad is going to sit right here, um, and it, there's going to be a button that says "Learn More," right? And when they click that. Boom, this little window pops up with their name, email, and pointer. Would you like that information? Yes, that's the only answer. Yes, click. And there's and that is automatically grabbing their name, phone number, and email from whatever ad you've got going. For you to get a, a, a name, phone number, and email from this page is close to impossible. People will not type in their real phone number ever. If you require a phone number, you could pretty much just forget capturing leads. They will just leave this page. Does that make sense? I hope that's clear for everybody. Yes. Facebook, they are totally happy to say yes, give them my contact info, right? That's no so, problem. So, so lead ad is the preferred option unless you're doing something very specific that requires you to do the traffic thing. That's right, exactly okay. right. Okay. So, so we talked about PDF guide ads, talked about listing ads. I am going to do a landing page ad and, sorry, um, we create landing pages. You can create your own landing pages as well. Um, we have them for iBuyers, we have them for FISBO, we have them for new construction. But one of the most popular ones is free home values. And I'm going to do that. I actually, I got a call Property Valuation Plus. So you can create unlimited landing pages for home values, right? And, and you would want to do it on lead ads because you if you like getting name, email, and phone number. But I'm going to do it, and I'm going to give you kind of a caveat that this doesn't work really well. And the big problem is, you know, you remember Brent was talking about counties. Counties don't work when you're trying to offer somebody a home value because I don't know about your county, but the county I'm in, the home range, the home values range from 300,000 to 30 million. And so if you talk to me about this county, I don't care. If you talk to me about my town, I care, right? So a countywide home value concept does not work. The problem is though, like I live, well, this is in Granite Bay. So this is Granite Bay, okay? Granite Bay, California, it's up north by Sacramento. And boom, you publish, it's only gonna give you a 15 mile radius. That's as tight as it gets. And that is a problem because, let me show you where Granite Bay is. And this is gonna be a problem for you as well in your area, I think, because you have many towns, like, you know, you got Chandler here, you got Tempe, you got, is it Scottsdale? Like everything's so close to each other, but you really wanna talk about Scottsdale, right? Or you wanna talk about whatever. And, and when you run an ad like this with a 15 mile radius, that ad is overspraying all over all these towns. So now it's not very effective. And that's, that's what I hear very often. Now, I wanna tell you a great story. And you remember that fancy YouTube channel I keep talking about? On this page, if you go back four months ago, oh, one month ago, custom audiences, how to target homeowners. I actually talk about a new way of targeting homeowners on Facebook that's as effective as that nearby homeowner letter. If you go down a couple months earlier, I also talked the best way to get listings from Facebook. That's four months ago. New strategy to get high quality listings from Facebook. It, it's all talking about the same thing, okay? And I'm not gonna go down that rabbit hole right now because I don't have you all day here. So. This kind of ad, I typically tell agents, it's good to, to run if you just want to brand. If you want a high quality lead for homeowners, this ain't it. This is not going to do it because it's got, it's got that overspray. Now, if you go look at my videos that I just mentioned on the YouTube channel and you say, hey, I'm going to do that. Well, now this thing is going to be one of your best ways of getting listing leads, the fastest and easiest. So, but you do got to jump through a couple of hoops. Uh, yeah, Brent's got a question. Any more default templates on the horizon? There are new templates. You got to go check in our mastermind group. 
Brent, um, because we actually just launched new templates on something. I think it's single property websites. Yep. You've got the two, the construction and the uh, down payment oh. assistance templates, but that's it in the drop down. No. Landing pages. I'm talking yeah. About. Okay. So let's just hold tight there. You're talking about landing pages. We're going to go there in a moment. So we'll, we'll, we'll be there in just a minute. Let's just uh, finish this. So, so that's Facebook. You know, the pluses and minuses. I, I do want to talk one thing about Facebook ads. And this is for those of you who want seller leads. If you run a home sold ad, you're going to get seller leads for around $6 to $7 each. Now this is pre-Christmas prices right? So if it, you're doing this during Christmas, it could be easily cut in half the price per lead. So if you're running a sold ad, it's usually six to seven dollars per lead. If you're running a PDF guide ad for homeowners, it's usually ten dollars a lead. And if you're running a landing page ad, like what is your Chandler home worth? That's usually a 15, a 12 to 15 dollar lead. Same 50 bucks, just has different price on leads. So you're going to get X number of leads based on the map. Right now, I didn't mention it, but if you do market homes that are later stage but not sold, like under deposit or pending, well, uh -huh. Facebook doesn't know how to price that. Right? They just don't even know what that means. But it's it's offering a home value. So if you go and flip the property to, hey, this is now pending or active contingent or whatever, and you run the ad, well, we've got clients generating leads in the summer with a lot of competition at $2.50 and $2.40 with name, email, and phone number of homeowners. I would highly recommend you try testing it out and seeing if that's working in your market. I do think you're going to have to write a little more, like customize this to get really people to click it. But well, my clients love getting homeowner leads for $2.50 a piece. That's kind of unheard of. So that's our Facebook stuff there, right? There's a va different value of price on, on sellers. On Google, I mentioned it here. We're, you know, we just launched Google uh, not even 60 days ago. And so I, I don't think we, it, this is fully fleshed out. I think it's going to have some iterations here. And one iteration is we're going to be adding PDF guide ads here, right? So you'll be able to take one of those 80 PDF guides and run an ad, consider the question that you're asking. And, um, and run it. So that'll be great for you. Right now, probably the number one thing I would do is not create a listing ad, but I would create a landing page ad. And that would be probably, again, on what is your home worth, right? And, and I, I'm going to kind of go in the weeds here for a moment. I'm going to do a quick search, which I did a while ago. It's like top terms, top real estate search terms. Else, yeah. So this, you can actually go find out yourself and this gets a little bit technical, but when it comes to Google, this little article here, I'm going to send it to all of you right now. I, 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 if, if you feel like you want to use Google, you might want to be thinking about this. And I'm going to just give you a high level of what this is. It's telling you that as of October, these are the top searches by people on Google. These are the words they're typing on Google. So if you know that that's what they're typing, you could put that in your Google app. You could say, hey, you know what? I'm going to do this, but I'm going to click on advanced options. I'm going to put, the, even though listing leads gave me all their cool keywords, I see that there's some new ones that are super cool that you know Scott and Vince forgot to put in there. So I would hold on to this because these guys refresh this page or you can go find your own. But that's for home buyers. If you scroll down, you can find out what home sellers are typing on Google. 86% of all <laughs> searches start on Google, okay? They don't start on Facebook. They don't start on TikTok if they want a real answer. Maybe if you wanna know how to cook, you know. But if you wanna figure out how to sell your home, um, you're gonna go ask Google. And that's why utilizing this software that David has added to your platform, it makes a lot of sense to figure out how the heck does that work, right? Um, so that's that. Now, Brent, of course, is jumping ahead and asking about landing pages. So let's go talk about landing pages. And I know I'm running out of time. 
And when you come here, you're only going to see a couple of landing pages. But I do want to let you know you can create unlimited landing pages, right? If you go talk to another company in real estate, each landing page costs you about 60 bucks. But if you click this green button, and Brent, I don't know if you did this. I hope you're watching. When you click this, this gives you all the formats, all the templates. We got for iBuyers, for FISBOs, for expireds. You can do super custom. You can do empty nesters with instant home values put in. I do, you know, and, and to create one, it's it's not difficult. You just say, hey, our number one uh, page is Property Valuation Plus, right? So what would you do? You type in the name of a town that you want to focus on. Let's just say Chandler, right? And you click Create a Landing Page, and bang, it's going to be created. Now, when it's created, I'm not going to create another one because we have so many in here. When it's created, it's going to create kind of a, a generic page. It's going to have a coffee cup and a, a laptop and whatever. Generic does not work when you're asking people for their address and you know their name and email. That just doesn't work. So we actually drop you not on the landing page, but on the editor page. Okay, so the and the first thing it says is, hey, would you like to put a picture on the back? And your answer should be yes. So you go get a picture that's about 2,000 pixels wide. Get it not <laughs> of a house. Get it of a, a landmark, right? So I'll, I'll show you something here. When I set up Summit New Jersey Global Banker, we did this call, just like we're doing today. And the owner called me, you know, a month later, oh my God, we're getting leads all over the place. But the weirdest thing is the number one place, the number one landing page for getting home valuation leads is the one that has the Summit Diner in the back. So Summit New Jersey is a town of about 25,000 people, right? Um, and this restaurant is sitting on Main Street. So if you know this restaurant, you know Summit New Jersey. You know, this is where everybody's having their, their their greasy potatoes in the morning and all that stuff, right? So, you know, and that's what I'm trying to convey is don't put the new McMansion on the back of your home valuation landing page. Put something that's going to show that you know their area, that you're a neighbor, right? Or something like that. So do that and then start using the tools that we've generated for you, right? Um, I didn't go into it, but before, but we also have a new social page. And this is a page that um, well, I'll show you, but it's creating content for your social media accounts. And once you set it up, you don't have to touch it again. It's not going to capture a lot of leads, but let's look at it here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry. You have to. What's that? Uh, I, I guess I, I have to update it. We'll let you around it. I tried. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. So we, we're always adding new content. You know, it's kind of a problem. Um, and the content, you, you know, the first thing it's going to say is connect your social media. And then what, and what channels do you want it to go to? And then what frequency, right? You can say, oh, I want it to go out every day or I want it to go out every Friday, right? And then it's going to say what topics. And we've got all kinds of topics and you can choose all of them or you can choose one or whatever, you know, fits your personality. And then boom, that's it. We're going to just be sending, sending new content to the channels that you requested. And that's how that's going to work. Um, <laughs> Brent, you, you, okay, sorry. You live by that, that diner? That's funny. That's funny. Yeah. Uh, I can tell from the photo that the potato is a greasy Brent. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so that's kind of it. I do want to point out, which I always do, top tools to get more listings is when you create a landing page like that home value for Chandler, there are more things, more tools that we create that you can use tied to that landing page. It's covered on that call there. So it's not just about running a Facebook ad or a Google ad. There's a lot more that you can do with that landing page. So that's my story today, guys. Vince? Yeah, I have to go and I know you're probably done. I have to I have to leave right this second. But can you show the listing presentation? Because in my opinion, 
if you can incorporate the listing presentation into your listing presentation, meaning you show up with this thing printed out and share everything you're going to do, everything in this listing presentation is included in listings to leads. It is pretty amazing. And it's actually the best canned listing presentation I've ever seen. I have to go. I have to, I have to be on a call in one minute. Okay. Keep going. I appreciate it. See you guys. Okay. Bye. Yeah, that's, that's good. I'm glad that David uh, mentioned that because this is so true. We just refreshed this listing presentation. So the, I think really the first thing you should do, even before you get a listing appointment, is to go to your listings page and click this button that says create a listing presentation. You'll, you'll recognize, you can open it down here, that you're going to be branded on every page. Your logo, all you're all on it. And then it's talking about how we market a listing. What do we do? Now, it's not talking about listings to leads. It's just saying all the things that we're doing automatically for you, right? So you don't have to talk about listings to leads unless you feel like it. And there's certainly some agents that do. But when you look at this, you're going to you're going to realize like, oh, my God, these guys are doing all this for my listing and I can do all this. It's really difficult to compete against every this is 27 pages long of the kinds of tools that we're creating. You should definitely download this, look at it, make sure you understand it, start using the tools and definitely incorporate this in your own presentation, okay? You can take out the pages of what you don't wanna work, but there's so much that's automatic that you probably are gonna, you know, make sure you use those. So that's my story uh, here, people. Are there any questions on any topics that I've uh, mentioned or anything you're curious about that I forgot to mention? Yeah, good question. Um, can it be converted to PowerPoint? Uh, not that I'm aware of. I've asked our team to get it um, um, to get it uh, converted for Keynote and PowerPoint. We should really do that. Um, but you know what, Brent? I would ask the support team. They may actually know, and I don't know everything. I know almost everything because I built it. But, but my partner, Scott, does stuff behind my back. Kim is asking the cost. If you're part of um, the office account, I, the, the office is paying for it. If you're signing up for yourself, you can um, you can go to listings to leads. And our, our agent accounts start at $60 a month month to month, you can keep up to 10 listings in there. There's no annual contract. There's no setup fee. But David has a discounted, you know, umbrella account. It's a, when you have team accounts, they're, they're cheaper. Um, but then you need to talk to me and my contact information is right here, my phone number and my email. Any other questions? Um, okay, I don't see any other questions. So, get in the mat if you're a client get in the mastermind group if you are um not a client or a client still get on this channel of our our listings to leads youtube channel i think it's one of the best resources we have and i'm going to i'm going to wrap up with with something that came in let's see here from in our mastermind group now, this is a couple of years back, but I'm going to tell you a story about this guy. So I mentioned Dustin Fox earlier, but one day somebody came in the mastermind group and they said, hey, what are the two, who here gets two listings or more a month strictly from listings to leads? And what tool do you do you use? And a bunch of our clients jumped on to say, yeah, let, let me answer that question. And a bunch of people did, but this one guy, Dustin said, we average two listings from each marketed listing, all from listings to leads, Facebook ads, the nearby homeowner letter, and open houses, okay? So if he's got one listing, he gets two more. This was a couple of years ago when he said this. He said, we're trying to get that to above three, right? So he's going to get one listing. He's obviously going to get buyers because it's a slime dog for us, but he's going to get now three more listings. Dustin Fox is part of an office just south of Washington, D.C. in Virginia. And he's from Pearson Smith, right? And so when I close that office, they have 300 agents. And um, 
we had, he was a rookie. He, we actually have a recorded call with Dustin because he kept coming into the mastermind group and he said, yeah, you know, um, he said, I've got, it, it basically he said, the reason I want to do this call is because when you first signed my office, I was a brand, I was a two year agent doing 5 million in production every year. Okay. And he says, now I'm doing 20 million two years later. And 80% of my business is coming from your tools. So that guy went from five to 20 in two years and telling us that 80% of his business came in. I, on that call, he didn't warn us that he was going to say that. I was like, I was blown away. I was like, how much time do you put in our platform to do that? And he says, I do two hours a week. I drop my daughter off at ballet and I go next door to Starbucks and I work in your system and do all the things. And I do it for two hours a week. And that's how I went from five to 20. I can tell you that was probably three years ago, two years ago, two years ago. Yeah. Um, our system has more tools and it is more efficient and easier to use than when Dustin used it or still uses it and everyone else. Dustin is now, <laughs> Dustin is now um, the one of the stars of that office. He's the top seller in that office, right? If you go look at, I, I mentioned earlier in this call, a guy named Chris Winstead. I said, hey, if you want more listings, you got to go look at Dustin Fox, Chris Winstead, and Alicia Pless. And I showed you that video and I told you how like Chris was using this tool. But what I didn't tell you is Chris had just moved to Texas when he put this up and in months gets five listings. This January, that was two years ago, this January, he of course became the top seller and started his own office. And the very first things he does is creates a recruiting video on YouTube to talk about how he uses our platform and how he customizes our tools to get more listings, right? So I would check that out if you want more listings. Okay, so that's my story, guys. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope uh, this is making sense to you. I know it's a ton of information, but the platform works. The trick to it is, are you using the tools or not? <laughs> Otherwise, if you throw your credit card in there for 60 bucks a month, um, it just charges you. Um, let's see here. Where is that platform? Can't find them in Cape. Mm -hmm. Terrence. Um, let's see if I have it here. So some, if you look at the recording of this call, Terrence, or if you were distracted when I was talking earlier, um, I sent a video to everybody on this call from API Nation. Let's see if I can find it here. Okay, and maybe I can do it. API Nation and L2L. Connect. I think it's right here. Yeah, I think I said this. Yeah, it's how to connect. Yeah. So we have the API, or we work with API Nation. This video. Oh, not follow up, boss. Sorry. <laughs> That's the wrong one. Uh, somewhere. Well, do that search here. This guy. So API Nation is the company. This guy seems to be doing. I don't know who this guy is, but he's kind of doing it. But I'm sure API Nation on YouTube, because I just gave it to everybody earlier, has a video. Oh, let's see if I type in listings to leads. Maybe that doesn't do it. Has a video to help you do that listings to leads. Yeah, I can't find it. So forgive me. Um, yeah. You're going to have to find that one or just find the recording of this, of that I sent it to everybody um, earlier on this call. Any other questions for anyone? anyone? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thanks everybody. Enjoy the holidays and let us know if we can help you. We got a great support team. Um, if you have questions, ask them. Oh, I see another question here. Oh, <laughs> you're okay. Okie doke. Bye everybody. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye, by the way.